Welcome back. After having successfully created your Google account, I will walk you through its proper configuration in order to maximize your online business. Your profile page is the one place you can go to manage your entire internet networking and marketing. Google Plus makes it easy to do anything and everything you need to do online. It is most convenient and an important time saver for any business owner. Let's drill right down to it then. In the previous video, I have shown you where to click to go to your Google Plus profile page. I presume you did that. You clicked back to Google Plus. Having done that, you are now seeing the Google Plus account page. You will see four buttons to the right of the page title. The third button, which is an image of a person, is your profile button. You need to click that button to access your profile. This time, you can see the About button just to the right of the Post button. Good. When you click your About button, you will be able to input all of your business information and link to your website. You have now arrived on the About page. Now click Edit Profile. This time, you should be able to put in all the necessary information to complete your business profile. Write an introduction that summarizes your business, what you do, and what you sell. Make it clear to people who find you that they have found the right person. Moreover, Google has categories on this About Me page that include occupation and bragging rights. Bragging rights may include any awards you have won or certificates you have earned. Including this will reinforce your qualifications and exposure that will make you an authority in the niche you have chosen. Include your education as it is relevant to your position as a business owner. Now, after showing your expertise and qualifications, your accessibility to your target customers must be taken care of. Look at this. About Me has a section in which you may upload links. You must put links to your web page here. Consider including more than one link. For example, have a link to your website's homepage, a link to your website's list of products, and any other page you would like to showcase. Include other ways for people to find you and your business on the internet in the links section. For example, include your Twitter account, Facebook page, and LinkedIn identification. This is your opportunity to help people recognize you and find you on the internet. Your associates from other sites will be thrilled to find you on Google+. Everybody wants to be on Google+. About Me page also gives you the option of including personal information, such as marital status and home phone number. As a business owner, you should use these categories with caution. Keep your online persona professional, and you will earn more respect from your colleagues and customers alike. When you are content that you have included all of the professional information others need to contact you through your business, click Done Editing. Now that saves all the information you have put in. Let us look at the Google Plus page once again. Right after the About button are the Photos and Videos buttons. You may click on these categories to upload photos of your products or information videos about your business. Offering photos and videos keep people engaged and will result in more people visiting your website and purchasing your goods or services. What could be a better way to immediately showcase your products and your business? But wait, there's more. We have to look at one more button immediately at the right of the video button. This is the Google Plus One button the most important button on your Google Plus profile page. I will tell you exactly why. Plus One is Google Plus's internet marketing and bookmarking tool. Google Plus One is the best way to allow users to recommend your business to others. Using this service will drive traffic to your website in droves. You must really have the Google Plus One button on your website. I will expound on this very important feature later. But for now, let us concentrate on the profile you have created. Bear in mind that the information you have placed in your profile page can be viewed by those who will be accessing your account. It is important for you to see exactly how others see you. This is the best way to know how you look to others and gives you the opportunity to fix mistakes and optimize your profile for business. To do that, look at the exact spot where all the last four buttons we have utilized are located. Right at the end of that row of buttons, 
you will find the View Your Profile As option. When you click on that, you will be redirected to your About page. What you are seeing on that page you just created is what anybody on the web will see. You may, however, type in a web address or email and see how your account looks specifically to people. This is a powerful and necessary tool for business owners. Businesses need to maintain the impression they give to associates and customers, so this ability to see how others see you is a vital tool in Google+. Images and first impressions on the internet often determine whether someone is interested in your business and will visit your site or go elsewhere and never return. Take advantage of the opportunity to monitor how you appear on Google Plus to others. You may edit your profile to improve it. To do this, you just need to click on the Edit Profile button. If you are satisfied with all the information you have put in, simply click on Done. What have we done so far? After you have successfully created your Google account, now you have properly configured it to reflect all the information necessary to showcase your products, your business, and your qualifications. I have also showed you the options you need to take to make yourself accessible to the people in the web from where your customers shall come from. Essentially, you have made yourself known to your target audience. <laughs>